yo, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghetto Agfa, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we're going to be unboxing these puppies right here, the newbie M51 Bluetooth headset. They reached out to me. They said, hey, you know, we got this product right here that we think will be good. You know, would you want to, you know, do an unboxing and review? I said, cool. I would love to do an unboxing and review. Now, I am going to tell the truth about it, whether I like it or not, whether it's a good value or not. But, yeah, send me one. But not only did they send me one, they sent me this one right here, too, so we can do our first giveaway. So once we hit um, our, uh, another milestone in our, um, in our subscribers, no count or how many people we got subscribed, We'll go ahead and give this right here, this one away. Now they normally go for $39.99, but right now you can get them for um, $24.99 on Amazon. But hey, before we get to the Eagle Eye View, let me give you the specs on them real quick. All right, the specs on them real quick. Newbie, the Newbie M51 made for business these are made for business um, i only go over one ear you'll see in a minute it uh, has uh um two charging options a 500 milliamp hour charging case with super long standby um you got 80 hours long uh you got 80 hours 20 hours of um music time 15 hours of talking time six months of standby time and you can also um, do uh, type C um, charging at the back of the ear earpiece, so you'll see how that goes too. Um, dual connection as well, so you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hook it up to two devices. Lightweight, adjustable for comfort. It's left and right ear. You can switch it from left to right ear if you get you know right ear fatigue to left ear fatigue. You can switch it. Um, it also you know have all the, the the controls on it as well, and 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 it has this other feature where you can kind of you know make it a little longer, you know, in the, where it fits in your ear a little bit. So, so it's widely compatible with, um, with new QCC Bluetooth 5.2, um, 5.2 chip capable. So let's go ahead and get to the Eagle Eye view. But Hey, before we get there, another, Hey, before we get there, do me a favor, please like share and subscribe. I'm gonna say that one more time, like share and subscribe and give us a thumbs up thumbs up it's liking it so thumbs up because it helps us get deeper into the youtube algorithm so the more we the more thumbs up we get the deeper it, it gets into the youtube algorithm and it reaches a, a wider range of audience but i do want to thank my new and current current and new subscriber for still rocking with your boy without further ado let's get to the eagle eye view because it's made for business to the eagle eye view and here how it looks right here so this is made for business. Comes with the charging case as well. So here you go. You got all the information right there so you can see it. So it's a pretty decent clean unboxing here. So let's get to the unboxing. This right here is a brand new knife. So I want to thank Scrappy for getting it for me. I should have done an unboxing on it, but it comes with this and then also come with this right here. So what we're gonna do, look at that crab, look at that right there, pretty decent. Let's go ahead and use the um Todd Sweetie thing right here. Let me close this up so I won't hurt myself. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's do that one more time, guys. Ah, okay. Nothing else in here, as you can see. I'm gonna take this out. So we got some. Okay, we got some gel tips here. See how these fit in. Sorry, guys. There, here, right there. Your tips. We have a USB charging cable. So we have a USB. We have a USB A to USB C. Here, put it over here. And then we also have the user manual. Never throw these away because you never know. You might need it. As you can see, business Bluetooth headset. So it's made for business. So let's go ahead and get inside here. So now, this is the case. Look at the case before we take out the unit. We have the USB. 
charge report right here. Okay. Very standard. Let's ah, there we go. There go to now. I like this because I am a big fan. Was well, a big fan of the Planetronics, and we're gonna look at that before we um really get into. As we can see here, pretty good. You have your, you might you have your buttons on here. You have your answer. We'll go through what the button placement is. You have this button here, so we'll go through and see how how that, all that goes. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take this off here. And we will just go ahead and set it here. It says it's at 99%. So, this is how the old Planetronic one looks. Right here, this is the old Planetronic. So you can see the kind of same now. These right here, I've had these for a long, 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 over 10 years. And this is how they look. So you can see, they look similar, and that's why I love it. The design of that, love the design. I wore these so point to I wore all the ear, the ear pieces out. Look at that right there, ear pieces out. But I always loved this design, and they kept the design. Which kudos to them. If if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I love this. So, so hopefully, you know, you know they have, they have their buttons up here. They only have one button up here, but um. This one here has two buttons right here. As you can see these two buttons right here. So it has a different button button placements, but you know, still, you know, I love the design. So this one is the old. Now this one came out. These were like over like two hundred. I think it was like one ninety nine, one sixty nine when these came out. And at the time, everybody was wearing this for business. You couldn't see. Everybody walked around with one of these. And you can get them with the case or without the case. So um, pretty decent. But now you can see the newer kids are coming up on the block. You know, same design now. Same design. But, you know, the technology, you know, should be better now than it was back then. So we're going to get go ahead and charge it up. See how it looks when it's charged. And then we're going to go ahead and figure out the button button placement and give it a call. I will be right back, guys. And what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take this long cord right here. This long cord is um, in the Samsung adaptable, um, adaptive charging um, wall plug. So you can see that right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and plug it up and see how it looks when you charge it up. As you can see, the red right there, so we'll take it off. There's a little right there. It's red, so let you know it is charging. Let's open it up and see what it says up here. It blinks to let you know it's charging. So there you go. It's blinking to let you know it's charging. So there's another way to charge it as well. And I like this because sometimes they forget about that. You have this right here on the back. And that right there on the back, say if something happened or you forget your charging case. Now, I've had you know similar ones like this that I bought in the past that don't have a second way to charge. So you put this in here. And I don't know if there's any indication to say how it's charging. So I found the indication is that red light right there. So the red light right there lets you know it's charging up. So that's the indication. Charging up. Okay, so we use that. I'm going to go ahead and trust, give my trusty power right here. See how that works. You see, it's trying to seek. We'll put this in here. We're using the, the, the charging that came with it. And you see it charges up. So you can charge it up using the power brick if you have one. Power bank, power brick. Let's put it in here. So you can see, is that 96%? We'll go ahead and plug it up. You can see it is charging up. And then... Oh, there it goes, charging up. And then you also see the red right here. Let you know it's charging up the piece of there you go. So we get through the charge. Well, let's get ahead and figure out the button placement before we pair it up. All right, guys, let me let you see the button placement. So these right here is your volume. 
volume up and down right here volume up and down this is your multi function button to answer reject calls you have your mute button so your mute button is underneath here so that's your mute button so you can mute a call your this is your first microphone this is your second microphone right here this is your indication light and as we already saw on um, here, this is how you charge it. Just pop that out. You're going to need some nails, but pop it out. That's how you charge it if you don't have the cradle. And that's about it. And you have the indication, you know, where you charge it at. And one thing I do like about this that it has is this. Where you can kind of slide it up and down so it can. So if you have a longer, you know, ear or you know from the ear going down to you know over your top of your ear going down to the to the, spe to the speaker you're able to you know become more comfortable so i like that so that's how but and it's left or right ear so you can do it left we can do it right so while we go ahead and get it paired up see i got the pixel um eight pro sit right here we're gonna pair it up to the pixel eight pro and um, I did put these on before, and it does say when you put them on, it does say pairing. It does give you um, audible voice commands, let you know when it's paired up, um, when it's pairing. So as you can see, it's in pairing mode right now. So when you put it on, it'll tell you pairing, pairing, look of, you know, looking for a device. And so we're going to hit new device. We see it's right there. It says pairing and then it's paired up as you can see quite easy to pair up so why don't we get to the regular view and we'll put it through its paces and there it go went from pairing then it's active 90 percent battery life so what we're going to do we're going to get go ahead get to the normal view make a call listen to some music and we'll go from there yo yo we're back to run it through its paces while we're in the studio slash office. Let's go ahead and make a phone call real quick. See how it sounds. And put it on. Now I'm all putting on wrong, you know, overly complicating things. So now you can also lower it a little bit to get it to fit better. So I did that. Now if you have a problem fitting you do, do have other two ear, but on um, the ear, um, this part right here, to fit in, if this is too big, you can't get a smaller one. We're so used to everything going into our ear, so, you know, so this is this fits pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good right there. So let's go ahead and make a phone call and see how it sounds, guys. Yo, what's up, brother? This is your boy, the Ghettoographer, calling you to test out a new headset, the Newbie M51 Bluetooth headset meant for business. So how do I sound? You say I sound pretty good. A scale from one to five, because you don't like to do one to ten. He said four, four and a half. Now, you ain't never gave nothing a four, four and a half, bro. Sound sound pretty clear. How do I sound on a scale from one to five? He gave me a four and a half. He gave me a four and a half on how I sound. You know, I'm getting he sound really clear too. So okay, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna do this again tomorrow, but it's gonna be into in my car so we can test it out in that type of environment. Cool. All right, you take it easy. Peace. All right. Now he said a four and a half. Now he's never given nothing to four and a half. So we're gonna make one more call because this is woo four and a half. Oh, we gotta we gotta give it we gotta give another call. We're gonna, we got we go we're gonna call this person right here. She's uh she doesn't rate anything good, especially when you talk on the phone. Let's see what she says about this. Hey, this is the ghetto Og for calling you, testing out the newbie M51. Bluetooth headset made for business. How do I sound? From a scale from one to five. Uh-oh, guys, she said a five. This is unprecedented. 
Nobody ever gives anything a total five. Now, they did give um, the trucker headset a five, but this right here is a five. How, you know, she said, I sound good. I sound clear. She said, I sound very clear, and she sounds clear. Okay, guys. I right, thank you for participating, and talk to you later. Bye -bye. Guys, now they saying it sounds good, so now that's really good that sounds good guys so i'm I'm happy with that so what we're going to do we're going to listen to some music but before we get to the music um i don't now i'm gonna tell you this i'm giving you this my disclaimer uh you can't listen to music on here but i think this is meant for more to just you know more business oriented talking you know on business calls and stuff like that things of that nature um now listen to music you can because it's on you want to take it off putting your earbuds so let's see how the music sound with this now i wouldn't i wouldn't go ahead and i wouldn't re-listen to music all day with this but we're gonna go ahead and see how the music sound Sounds pretty good. We control the music up and down. Volume does work. Stop. Play does work. Hey, do me one for, well, one more favor. We was doing the music thing. Can you can you give me a call back so we can see if the button works as far as answering the phone? And re or rejecting the call. So can you give me a call back? Thank you. So before we get back into the music, the music did sound good, guys. And the music plays, stops, and plays. Calling. So we're going to... Hello? Okay, then call me um, back again, and I'm going to reject the call, okay? So basically, you tap it once on the multi-button right here, and you were able to... You're able to answer the call. So I'm gonna see if we can go ahead and reject the call. So to reject the call, you don't double press it like I was doing like an idiot. What you wanna do is just hold the button down and reject the call. So um, if you want to mute a call, mute, you hit the, you hit the button underneath like that and the mute to call, you turn it back on, okay? So let's get back to the music. All right, guys, the music part is okay. It's not the best, but like I said, these are me more meant for business. Excuse me, I'm getting tongue-tied. These are meant for business, more so to me than listen to music. Now, can you listen to music? Yes, you can. Um, does it sound pretty good? Yes, you can. You can't be listening to music while you're or in between calls or you you know if say you forgot your hit your earbuds or you don't feel like taking your earbuds out or whatever else you got yes you can um listen to music it sounds pretty decent i give it i give it a c for music you know it's not going to be like a beats or you know you know beat earbuds or apple pro you know earbud pros or you know apple pros not gonna be like that but not gonna be like the samsung either the earbuds but they're passable i give it about a cc plus for the music now on the call the call what you're going to be doing with these most of the time calling on business call it sounds really good guys um they sound loud clear hey guys what we're going to end up doing we're going to take these out tomorrow while i'm on the road um and, and we're going to test them out in the car and see if the noise cancellation work um, will it drown out noise. Because, you know, when you're in this type of environment, you know, it's, it's quiet. You know, there's not that much interference because I don't have too much stuff on. But when we get out there in the real world, when we're, you know, in the car, walking around, you know, outside, maybe we'll do, you know, do a... Uh, I'll take one of my cameras out and we'll do like a vlogging session, you know, seeing how it sounds and stuff while we're outside. See, does it still sound clear? Because that's where you're going to, you know, going to want to use these in the car. Don't get me wrong. I do like my earbuds, but nothing takes the place to me of having, you know, the mic, you know, closer to your mouth. So, you know, it's not picking up all the sounds, but it's just picking up what you're saying. It's cutting out what everybody else is saying. So to me, 
you know, this is, this can to top it all. And they're lightweight. You don't have to put them over your head like the trucker mic thing because it's kind of, you know, compressing. You know, I got a big head, so compress your head all together, give you a headache. Don't want that. So we're going to go out tomorrow and um, put these two paces, and we'll be back tomorrow to give you my final thoughts um, and giving this puppy, giving a newbie M51 a grade. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. So let's go ahead and give a call to somebody and see how it sounds. Yo, this is your boy, the Ghetto Auger, for calling you back with the second call. I'm in my car. I got the air condition kind of, it's on very low. So how does it sound while I'm on the road? So, so is it still at a, a full point? Uh, 4.4, a four. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna tilt the um. I'm gonna tilt the, the sunroof. I mean, I tilted. Well, wrong one. I'm gonna tilt it so you can hear some noise. Do you hear that noise? Okay, so I'm gonna just push it back. I'm pushing. Open it a little bit. Now, do you hear the wind? Okay, well, that's good. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna get all this done now, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the front, the front windows, like halfway through. How does that sound? Pretty cool. That means the active noise cancellation is working. All right. Okay, you so you did hear a little bit of the wind, okay. All right, well, thank you very much. So you still give it a four. Okay, you know, we're in real, we're in real condition now. Give it a four. That's still good. So thank you, man. And I'll hit you back in a little bit. Peace. All right, guys, I'm back. And uh, you say you still give it a four. Now, yesterday he gave it a 4.4. But that, again, you're looking at the optimal conditions. You're looking at, you know, the optimal conditions. You're looking at in my office, not that much noise being made, quiet. But here out on the road, you get road noise, depending on what type of car you have, you get road noise, you get, you know, sometimes people have the windows down or have the air conditioning blowing, you know, kind of low to medium. So, and then you got all the interference that comes with being out, um, outside. So he said he gives it a, a four. And, and to me, that's really good because normally I'm talking to people with these on it. I do like these. These are, you know, for traveling, I love these. But they're kind of heavy. They're kind of janky. You know, they're not, you know, as um, this is smaller to me. It's, 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 it's more compact. You don't have all this weight sitting on top of your top of your head. And, you know, my wife still says that she loves the way this sounds. So why don't I go ahead and give her a call while we're doing this and see how she says this hair sets out. if she answered the phone. Okay, she's not answering the phone. Hello? Oh, she did answer the phone. Did I hung up on her? Let's do that one more time. Well, she calling me back. Hello? Hey, look, I got this new headset in right now. So, how do I sound compared? Hello. How do I sound with the new headset compared to the the other ones you said that you like very really well? The ones that you couldn't even hear people in the background talking. How do you like it? Hello. How you like it? Do I sound clear? You know. Do I sound like I have the other ones on? Do you like those better? The ones that go over my head? You know, how do these sound compared to those? I mean, as far as clear, because you said one day you thought I was at home the way it sounded. But you said the other ones are number one. 
So I mean, would these be a close? Would these be a close second or maybe a close? You know, where would you place it at? The viewers want to know. As my wife had to get off the phone um, and take another call, but this was what she wrote. She said, um, they sound clear. I don't hear anything in the background. So the noise cancellation works great. I can't rate it on a scale. It sounds as clear as the other ones you wear. So basically, guys, she's saying they're pretty good. Now, I think um, you know, she did on the call say that the other ones sound a little clearer. I would say because the microphone on these are a lot closer to these. So you see how this is right here. If I put this over it. The microphone, this microphone is a little bit more closer to my mouth than these are. But again, when you're dealing with something like these right here, you can't make it so long because then again, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't fit right over the ear. So there's a reason why the mic is where it is. But I like them um, from, from up talking to other people and just wearing them today. They're really good, guys. So, um, so what we're going to do, we'll get back to the... Um, Get back to my office in a little while, and I'll give you my final thoughts and give it a newbie uh, M51 to gray. See you there, guys. Yo, 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 I'm back, guys. I am back with my final thoughts on the newbie M51 Bluetooth headset made for business. I'm going to tell you the truth, guys. I do like it. Um, it's, it's so much nostalgia from the... Um, Planetronics, the ones right here, as you can see, the ones right here. I really do like them. Um, bring me back to that day, to them good old days. But um, now, let's get the the pros out of the way. It's comfortable. Um, it fit fit my ear. I do like the part that extends right here. That little part right there. Let's see if you can see it. It extends. I do like that. I do like it's comfortable. Um, the sound is pretty decent. I will get back to the sound, um, the speaker, um, the part to go in your ear. Get back to that in a minute. Um, everybody I talked to said they heard me clearly. Um, almost as good as the um, trucker ones. I call them the trucker ones. The, the trucker ones that I, I normally wear. So they're a lot lighter, a lot more comfortable than those. Um, I like it that you could charge it from... The, um, in the case, or you could charge it on its own. So if you forget the case or you lose your case, you're still able to charge up your Bluetooth headset. So I do like that. Now, my cons is this. I don't like the case. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why. The case is too slippery. And so I would wish they would have put something like a little rubber, just enough so you can grip it. Like this one here. You can see that you could grip this one. This one is slippery. It's really slippery. And um, I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. And this comes to my second point. I don't like it because I wish that this had a magnetics or some kind of snap to snap it in place. So when it, if it does fall or when it does fall because it's slippery, that it just won't open up because it hit the ground hard enough. It'll open up and it will shoot this one way and shoot the thing the other. Now, one good thing is only one piece. You're not talking about little two little Bluetooth earbuds, but you're talking about one piece, so that is good. Other thing I'm going to hit it for is that it should come with an app. And nowadays, every one of these, whether it's made for business, made for listening, you know, or both, should come with an app. So, if this needs to be updated or if there's a critical bug that needs to be fixed, they can get the update out to you fairly quickly when it's done through an app. So this not having an app kind of bums me out because sometimes people like to use the controls on the app. And I would have been perfect for something like this where, you know, you're in the business or you're talking, you can mute it by the app, turn the volume up, turn the volume down, turn off the NFC, turn on the NFC. Because when you do have active noise cancellation, it does um, drain the battery um, more than when you don't have it on. So I wish it had an app. And I'm a dinger for that, newbie. Should have an app. Um, now, the third thing I'm a dinger with is the speaker that goes into the earpiece. The speaker, to me, is all right. And I mean every sense of the word, all right. Um, you turn it up, you start to get some distortion sound. Now, it could have been 
the other person on the line, but I made a couple of different calls just to see if I was hearing what I was hearing. And I, I, I heard it. It's a little bit of distortion as, as you turn up the volume. So as long as you keep the volume fair to Midland, you ain't gonna hear that much distortion. When you turn it up, you will start hearing the speaker kind of struggle. I guess that's what you want to call um, 30, 39.99 and on sale for 24.99. This can't be beat, guys. Um, even with those minor flaws, I call them minor because, you know, really two of them are, I'm nitpicking because I think it should have an app and I think this should be, you know, covered in something more tactile than the slippery. So I, almost, I almost dropped it. It's slippery. So I think, you know, that. But as far as the speaker, you know, maybe that's something that they could fix in the next iteration. Um, to come to the price point of $39.99, something has to be, you're going to lose, you're going to gain, you're going to lose a lot, you know, some things, you're going to gain some things to keep the price point where it's affordable. And these are affordable. For $39.99, guys, you can't beat this. So my final grade for the newbie, M51, would, will be a B. Maybe a B plus, um, but I would give it a solid B. No, I'm going to keep it at a B. Um, I think, um, I don't think there's no technology that is perfect, but you know, it might be perfect to me. It might not be perfect to you, but I'm gonna give this a solid B. Um, for the price point, you can't beat it. It's comfortable. Um, it, it, it did real good in the car. I think it's gonna work in um, any environment that you put it in. I mean, you know, you don't wanna take it on a rocket ship or you know, airstrip or anything like that, but it's, it's a pretty, this is a, a really good, not pretty good buy, a really good buy, guys. So I'm endorsing this. Um, the newbie M51 Bluetooth headset. Um, if you want these, these will be in the link um, below. Remember, they did send me an extra one so we can do a giveaway. I, in a couple of weeks, I'll come up with something so I can give those away to one of, to one of you, you know, who've been who've been rocking with the channel. So go out and purchase these. If you're looking for something, and these are strictly for business. You can listen to music with them, but these are more for business, for taking calls, you know, you on you on the computer, you need something, you know, you need so they can hear you, keep your voice kind of isolated right there. These will work. So guys, that's it. I'm giving it a B. Hey guys, do me a favor. Please do me a favor. Please like, share, and subscribe, okay? I'm gonna say that again. Please like, share, and subscribe. I wanna thank my new and current, current new subscribers for rocking with your boy. We're growing. The channel is in growth. It's growing, guys. So I just wanna say thank you. Um, yet again, this is your boy, the Ghetto Agafa, AKA Pastor Tech, thanking you for rocking out with me on another unboxing journey. Guys, we got some more unboxes coming soon. So do me a favor, please, you know, hit that that, that notification bell um, icon that's right there somewhere, you hit it. And so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. You have a good day, peace.